fastest growing regions, not only in India, but also across the world. And uh, Bangalore holds a special place in terms of the civil aviation issues and also in terms of uh, non-civil aviation issues also, basically with regard to the presence of the HAL and a number of other such uh, Government of India initiatives in the defence sector as well. And uh, not only research but also manufacturing and uh, uh, that is the reason why we have uh, regularly held uh, the Aero India show here every uh, alternate year uh, for last several years. And uh, in terms of uh, civil aviation, there has been a lot of interest. Uh, perhaps the person who galvanized the sector was Captain Gopinath when he started the Air, Air India um, uh, Air Deccan and then thereafter the Kingfisher. But all of these have basically moved on and we all have moved on after that. Uh, now, uh, one of the very important sectors in which uh, the government of Karnataka has been investing is uh, on the airport infrastructure. So we have uh, taken up number of greenfield airports, all uh, in which the entire construction, lands, etc., are being done by the state government. One of them, Shimoga, is the one which uh, Honorable Prime Minister inaugurated on 27th February, and we have now held uh, regular flights. Uh, Indigo has been operating there. And I was talking today uh, to one of the persons who runs a, a, a tourist facility in uh, Shimoga. He says 80% flights full, sir, no problems. So uh, uh, continuously, and he says he has traveled at least 10 times on these flights. Now, likewise, there are a number of other airports that we are taking it up. Uh, there are almost uh, seven to eight airports that are uh, on the annual. Uh, uh, Bijapur Airport uh, is the one which is the next one and we request the Secretary of Civil Aviation to uh, send a multidisciplinary team, particularly from the DGCA, for the certifications and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, had a tie-up on the uh, MET part of it and also the navigation part of it uh, with them. These will be taken up uh, by the state uh, uh, company called uh, KSIIDC. Uh, they have been running the Shimoga Airport as well. Um, we would like to see the last mile connectivity. We would like to see how aviation can transform the growth of the state and, uh, and the country. And uh, that's the reason why state government has taken up not only the airports, but also heliports, small airstrips, uh, etc. Uh, as a part of this. We are also uh, in the process of framing out, we already have a draft of a, a civil aviation policy. Uh, this civil aviation policy will list out the roles of uh, different uh, stakeholders. It may be the FTOs, it may be uh, 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 other people into the HR space, etc. It may also be number of people who are making, uh, say, civilian aircrafts in the country. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Mr. Mishra here uh, has been working with Indian Institute of Science and uh, uh, NAL and a number of other people to work on uh, how we can have, a, say, a uh, six-seater to ten-seater, twenty-seater or fifty-seater kind of uh, civilian air, uh, aircraft being manufactured in the country. So, a lot of scope and potential is there. Few months back, four months back almost to be precise, in the month of March, we had the Minister Civil Aviation who had come here along with the Secretary Civil Aviation, then the then Secretary Civil Aviation on the uh, UVTOLs, so that is the uh, vertical takeoff and landing uh, machines uh, uh, in which we expect that there will be air taxi operations, urban air taxi operations through them. And uh, that is, we have also offered space here for people to assemble. A number of American companies had come here and uh, we have given them uh, space to assemble as also a uh, place for uh, them to operate their craft. Obviously, it requires a lot of coordination with the DGCA on the safety issues and uh, on that issue also I was happy to find that the Director General Civil Aviation was also there uh, in that meeting. I, I request a follow-up uh, on this matter as well because that will also not only uh, help country but also help particularly Bangalore which is seen to be a most congested of the cities and people would like to fly. and. Uh, 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 I'm told that the prices will also come down to say about 3,000 per trip or 2 to, uh, two to 3,000 per trip with the introduction of these kind of new machines.